Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. And before we start this video, I just want to apologize in advance if uh, I'm not full of energy. I'm not feeling super great. My ears feel kind of stuffed up. Anyway, today we're going to be trying some life hacks and magic tricks from the video. 19 magic tricks that you can do by 5 Minute Crafts. We got a bunch of crazy things we're doing today, so uh, let's check them out right now. Let's do it. Chilling with your homies, then your friend comes along and they're like, Hey, I want your attention. He has an idea. So what you do is you put the phone in the person's hand and oh my god it's a spider what oh wow that's so lame flip over the hand oh, oh it's a real spider how did he make it appear like that let's go back in time really quick so when you go to place your phone on your friend's hand also put the spider i would have never thought of that wow easy peasy yeah let's do it Okay guys, so unfortunately I couldn't find a video of just a spider crawling across your hand like that. So I guess we're just gonna have to make one ourselves. So right here I got a little uh, plastic spider. I got some fishing wire. Tie this to the spider. Snip snip. Boop. Perfect. Let's open up our phone app. Put our hand right here. Okay, so we're gonna put our spider off to the side. And I have an assistant actually helping me with uh, reeling it in. So he's gonna go ahead and reel in the spider. It's gonna crawl across my hand. And we're gonna start recording now. Oh my, oh my god, a spider! Oh, oh my god, oh my, oh my god, a spider! <laughs> okay, we'll do it one more time, one more time. One more, one more time. Oh my god, the spider's crawling on my hand. Wow, oh, oh god. Yeah, that ought to do it. Let's watch the video really quick. Oh my god, whoa! Oh my god, whoa. Oh, look at that, look at that. I might want to mute it because I didn't shut up during this video. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and get some double-sided tape. Just stick our spider right on there. Okay, I think we're all good to go. Let's try this one out on Richie. Oh, Richie! Guess what? Oh, hey, so I have, I have a, I have a trick for you. Love those. Yeah. Do you wanna see something cool? Uh, okay, <laughs> uh, give me your hand, put your hand out like this. Perfect, here, let me uh, pull it up really quick. <laughs> Um, here we go. Okay, so here's your hand. Yes? Does that look oh, wait, like the other hand. Give me your other hand. <laughs> I need your other hand. Like my hand. There we go. We got your hand right there, right? It looks pretty good. Are you ready for this? We're gonna play. Oh my god, do you? Oh my god, Richie, do you see that? Oh my god, there's, oh my god, there's something on your hand. Richie, oh my god. Oh my, oh my god, Richie, oh my god. But guess what? What, you think it's lame? No, no. Look on the back of your hand. Oh my god, Richie, there's a spider! There's a spider on your hand! I have arachnophobia. Richie, oh my god! <laughs> Are you happy with yourself? The spider looks... Oh my god. You've been pranked! Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Okay guys, it's dinner time. And luckily, there's a giant pile of hamburgers. And uh, your friend's like, hey, screw this meat. I'm gonna use some raw meat. Whoa, what the heck? He just puts the patty right on there and you're like, gross. Oh, and sure enough, he does eat it. What you're gonna do is get some crispy rice. I don't know what the heck crispy rice is, uh, but we'll find out. Then you get a little bit of water, some red food coloring. Then you just mix it all up until it looks something like this. Ooh, that's kind of funky looking. It definitely looks like meat though. Um, yeah, that ought to get your friend. <laughs> Okay, so here's a fun prank that you can pull on your teacher. You ready? Okay, so for this next one, you're gonna need a capsule. I don't know where the heck I'm gonna get a capsule. Then you fill it with some fake blood. Put the capsule back together, and then just shove it right in that stapler. Right inside of it. And then when your teacher goes to use it, oh my god! Whoa! What? There's my, my homework is bleeding. Why is my homework bleeding? Whoa! Oh my, oh, whoa! Uh, that's disgusting. <laughs> I definitely think this one will work. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is some crispy rice. Now, I don't really know what the heck that is, uh, but we found a recipe online thing, so I guess uh, that's just what we're gonna have to do. Here's our rice cooker. Go ahead and cook. Oh, no! There we go. One cup of rice. And normally it's a one to two ratio for the rice to water, so I guess we add two cups of water. And one. And a two. Okay. Turn the sucker on. Boom, bam. I will see you guys in uh, 20 minutes. Okay, the rice is all done. Ooh, that looks so tasty. Yummy, yum. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this out and cool it 
down. Dude, I love rice. Tormi have white rice every morning. Honestly, I feel like I could almost get away with just using this for brain, but I definitely need to like let it cool down before I start like touching it. We get our food coloring and we just put it all in there. Gross. Dude. Oh, this is so gross. Oh, I love it. And then I think just to give it a little bit more uh, brain texture, I'm gonna add some dried rice. Yeah. That should do it. Woo! I'm gonna add more food dye. Extra bloody. Okay, now I gotta make this thing into like a, a, a beef patty. There we go. I only have one glove, unfortunately, so. Oh, this feels so weird. Oh, yummy. Dude, this is gonna be awful, actually. I don't want to eat this. <laughs> oh, this is a thick patty. Dude, it doesn't even want to stay together. I can already tell this is gonna dye my mouth red. Okay, anyway, good enough. Let's try it out on Richie. Oh, oh hey, Richie. Hi. Would you like a raw hamburger? No. But Richie, it's delicious. <laughs> Would you like to prove it? <laughs> oh, I'll prove it. Yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna make it right now. Okay. Oh, yummy. Oh. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. Would you like a bite? I'm, I'm nauseous. <laughs> Richie, you've been pranked! This is raw hamburger. This is called, this is red rice. Gross. Well, guys, I think that Richie pretty much believed this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one works. What is that even supposed to be? <laughs> oh my gosh! Whoa, you stabbed through your finger! You're so injured! Oh, oh my gosh, I hope they're okay. Oh, he was a prank the whole time. What? But how did they do it? Well, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get some nails, and then also some gauze pad and some Sharpie. Cut the nails in half, just like this. Uh, get the gauze pad and wrap it around your finger. Apply some super glue, and then, uh, uh, add some blood stains with the with the sharpie. Then just stick the nails that you cut in half into your finger like that. Do the other side, and boom, bam! Perfect prank. This looks great. Let's try this. Okay, so here are some nails. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them in half. Oh, where did it go? Oh no. There we go. Then we wrap our finger in gauze. Go ahead and cut that off. Boop. Let me add some red where the blood is. Stick them in there. Whoa, it's stuck. I mean, kind of. They did use hot glue, so I'm gonna do that really quick. Let's hope I don't burn my finger. And that should help it stay together. Oh gosh, that's so hot. But yeah, it should help it stay together a little better. Boop, boop. Oh no. Okay, whatever. Extra blood. And, haha. -ha. Yeah, it's still kind of falling apart. What do you guys think? Look good? The problem is the nails keep like falling down. So I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, kind of doesn't really work. I'm gonna go ahead and give this prank a two stars. You're welcome. Okay, so you got this red apple and then boom! Oh my gosh, it's green now? What, how did they do it? We're gonna go ahead and show you right now. So first you're gonna wanna get a green apple, preferably, and a red balloon. Cut the balloon down just like that and then put the balloon right on top the apple. Easy peasy. Then when they least expect it, just take the balloon off. Boom! It's a green apple. Wow, this one seems really easy, actually. Uh, let's try it. Okay, guys, so here's our apple. It is green, uh, just as they suggested. Here's our red balloon. Go ahead and snip it. Boop. And we just slide this over our green apple. Not gonna lie, this doesn't look very realistic. Maybe if I pull the stem out, no! I popped the whole balloon. We'll try this again. Wow, look at our beautiful red apple. Isn't it amazing? I'm gonna change it green. What? What? Whoa! Oh my god, it's green now. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Wow, look at all of these balloons. Have you ever wondered if you can actually stand on balloons? Well, all you gotta do is put a tray right on top of it and it should hold your weight. I wonder if this actually works. Hmm, I feel like I'm gonna break my neck doing this, but let's try it. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is uh, blow up some balloons. These ought to do. <sighs> Two down. <laughs> then we get our tray and just, uh, you know, put them underneath and hope that it doesn't pop when I stand on them. I think that the tray might be a little small. A bigger tray? Nope, not really. I'll just have to put less balloons. Okay, you guys ready for this? And one, 
And a chew. And... Whoa! It's working! Oh my gosh. And I'm balancing on them. Wow! Dude, they're actually holding my weight. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Want to know how to make a rubber band disappear up your nose? Well, it's simple. All you gotta do is get the rubber band, put it around your hand like that, stretch it out, and then you just kind of pull it up like this and let go. And then it goes back on your hand. Make sure to kind of cover it with your sleeve like this. It, it helps it out a lot. Here, let's try it really quick. So here's our rubber band. Put it around our wrist. Ooh, ouch. Ready and... Oh, oh wow. Oh, that went right into my brain. Just kidding. It's right on my wrist right here. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. This one's pretty fun and simple. You get your match and then boom. What? How did it light? What? You used your nails? How do you do it? First thing you're gonna want to do is get some matches. Take off the little match striker and put it on your nail just like that. Just kind of hot glue it on maybe. I don't know. They don't really explain it. Then boom. You have match striking nails? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I'm down. Okay, so here's our box of matches. But what we need is the striker. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut it out really quick. Boop, boop. Cut it kind of to the shape of my nail. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Then we get some double-sided tape. Okay, then we'll just stick it on. Kinda stays on. What a funky looking nail. Now let's test it out. Wow! It kind of flung off my nail, but we lit the match. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say it. This one works. Okay, guys, so this one's a real trip. What? So the egg is just spinning on a plate? That's amazing! How'd they do it? You're gonna need oil, water, an egg, and of course a plate. First, cut the egg in half. You know, take all the stuff out, let it dry. Then you just get some oil, put it around your plate, just like that, and just spin it. I guess this just works. I don't think I'm gonna be that graceful, but I can't wait to try this one. Okay, so first things first, we gotta cut it in half somehow. I will do my best with this. Maybe use a knife. And carefully. There we go. Yeah. Then we're gonna dry this off. There we go. Looks good. Here's our plate. Put just a little bit of oil on there. All around it. And theoretically, our eggshell should just spin whenever I move it. Oh, it's kind of working. I don't know how I feel about this one. Maybe I didn't like cut it evenly or something. I hope that helps. Guys, it doesn't seem to be working. Like it's not really spinning. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say this one doesn't work. What? That egg's on fire! Oh my god, it's a smoke bomb egg! But how did they do it? First, you're gonna want to use a syringe to blow all the stuff out of the egg, just like this. Then you get a bunch of matches and crush up the heads. Put the crushed match heads inside of the egg. Get a little bit of uh, paper tissue and roll it up. Put it inside of your egg and light that sucker. And now you have an egg smoke bomb. How fun is that? This one's gonna be fun to try. Okay, so here's our egg. Then we go ahead and get our cooking syringe and just kind of uh, you know, make a little hole right there. There we go. This egg is very, very expired by at least a month, I think. So apparently you're just supposed to blow air into the egg with the syringe like this. And it just kind of, oh, it's working. Dude, nice. Oh, it's getting all over my hand though. That's so gross. Dude, that's crazy how well that works. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out with water and uh, dry it out a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Then we get our matches. And we just go ahead and crush the match heads up, just like this. Okay, one down. Now I gotta do all these. I didn't really get a lot from this. Uh, this is gonna take a lot of matches. <laughs> Okay, so I used all these matches and we got this much powder. It didn't really yield a lot of powder from all these matches. Anyway, so I guess we're just gonna put this inside of the egg. The powder will just get all over the sides and it will make a cooler looking explosion. That's my theory anyway. But that's just a theory. An egg theory. Anyway, here's our paper tissue. Just uh, make a little fuse for it. Boop, boop. It's pretty good. Now let's test this bad boy out. Okay, put that right there outside where I can't burn anything down. Get our lighter. Oh boy. 
Oh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? It doesn't look like anything's happening. Well, that's lame. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put some more match heads inside of the egg, like that, and put a new wick inside. I also put some match heads inside of the wick, so hopefully that'll do something. Okay, you guys ready for this? Here we go. I believe in you, egg. Is it gonna work? Why is it not working? Huh, weird. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, it doesn't work. I don't know why, it's so weird. I, I totally thought this was gonna work. I'm gonna get my face away from it in case it's, uh, you know, <laughs> it, it has a delayed explosion. <laughs> okay, so you got a pencil and, oh, what? Oh my gosh, is it rubber? Where did you get a rubber pencil from? I used to do this one all the time when I was in school and it's really simple. All you're gonna wanna do is grab your pencil just like this and just do like a wavy motion. Whoa, oh my gosh, I have such a rubber pencil. Well guys, I guess we could say that this one works. Oh my God, how'd they get this balloon stuck inside of this jar like this? First you're gonna wanna get a jar and then a bunch of matches that are on fire. Put them inside and then put your balloon on top. And as the oxygen burns up inside of the jar, it should suck the balloon into the jar just like this. Wow, isn't science fun? I guess we're just gonna have to try this one. Okay, so this one's pretty straightforward. Blow up our balloon. <laughs> Tie that. Then we get our jar. Light some matches. Light some matches. We just uh, throw them in there. Boom, bam. Oh gosh. <laughs> Maybe a different jar. Try it again. Add fire to jar. Put balloon over jar. Oh gosh, it popped again. What the heck am I doing wrong? It looks like they let theirs kind of uh, go out first. So I'm gonna try that. Is it working? I think there might be a little bit of suction. Are you guys ready? One, two, and... No! I know for a fact this probably should work too. Oh! I think it's working. Oh my god, I see it. I think it might have worked actually. Okay, ready? We're gonna try and lift it up. Ooh, it works! Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works! Wow! So how do I... how do I get it off? Just... Jar full of smoke. Nice. Woo! Okay guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we rewrite the thumbnail. Woo! So the first thing I'm gonna need is a nail. Fun fact guys, I actually built this toolbox when I was like nine years old in Boy Scout. So that's cool. We have these little nails, but too small. Perfect, that's what I'm talking about. Now we gotta cut this guy in half. Just kidding, this'll take way too long. Now that's more like it. Perfect. Vice grips this to my table. Yeah, that'll do it. Safety first. There we go. Get some parchment paper. We don't really need that much. Then we get our hot glue gun, and then just kind of put some hot glue right on the parchment paper. And stick your little nail in, just like that. And I'm actually gonna use some vice grips to kind of help keep it straight. This is what it looks like uh, from the side. And just do the same thing uh, with the other half. Oh, I'm getting this hot glue everywhere. Hopefully this will stay up by itself. Nope, it's okay, I have another set of ice grips. And we're just gonna let these cool down a little bit. Oh wow, these turned out perfect actually. Awesome. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some of this excess off. Then I'm gonna get some liquid latex. And just kinda, oh gosh, that's way too much. Yeah, just kinda dab it on there. And hold it for a sec. Now we do the other side. Let them dry for a second. I actually got this flesh liquid latex that looks a lot more realistic. Dang, I like that a lot better. I'm gonna use this. Yeah. Now I just gotta let it dry. Okay, I couldn't get it to stick for whatever reason. Um, so I just put a rubber band on there. I'm hoping it's not too noticeable. Then I'm just gonna put some of this latex on there. Oh, this is gonna not look that great. I'm trying, okay? My finger looks so fat. <laughs> okay, here's our background. I'm gonna add some fake blood now. Oh my gosh. This looks so not good. I guess it's time to recreate this thumbnail. That ought to do it. 
Woo! Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's go this fight right down there. If you guys like this video, you guys want to watch me try more life hacks, crafts, and magic, I actually have a whole playlist you can watch right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to watch clips before these videos come out, I actually made a channel called Robbie Clips. You can subscribe right here. And if none of that stuff sounds fun, you can click the mystery card. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm Renardi. Okay, bye. Ah!